Hello there. I'm not even in the shop. Hello there. So this is a bit of a weird, different video for me. Paint these shoes. Slight little tiny little backstory and then I'll just get straight into it. So a few months ago, I bought myself a new bike, which was black and orange. I'll put a picture in so you can see. Nice giant Propel, awesome bike. I bought these shoes to match. Turns out the bike didn't fit. It was way too big. So since then, I've bought this mean machine. Specialized tarmac, um, which is obviously not quite as orange. So I've been speaking to a few people and watching a few bits and pieces online, and I'm going to give this a go at painting them. I was just going to do this black, but then I got these amazing paints. So we've actually got some neon yellow, um, we've got some blue, we've obviously got some orange, which we probably won't need. That's the finisher that goes over the top, some purple. So just before what I've done is I've rubbed it down with essentially what I think is a nail varnish remover, but it's a leather preparer and deglazer. So that's just been rubbed on using a little microfiber cloth. Um, and then I'm going to start painting. So I'm kind of going in a little bit um, without much of a plan. We did start making a plan and I was going to pencil some stuff on. But then I've seen, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Hopefully it will because I've got some nice light. So you'll see that there's some designs on the side in kind of a glossy finish. Um, and those designs carry on through this black stripe and through the front of the other side of the shoe as well. So the main part is for a minute, I'm going to paint the tongue black um, and most of the toe box black. I haven't masked anything off because I haven't found any masking tape. So this could go terribly wrong, uh, but I'm just going to do some black today. So I'll speed this bit up. Going on nice. Okay, so I've done this one starting to dry really quickly, which is nice. There's a couple of little drips where I've obviously put the paint on a little bit thicker. Obviously I've only done half the tongue because I've got to twist it and stuff and I don't want to risk getting any of the black on any of the orange. I'm probably looking like going to keep this last back section orange, which is quite a large section on this on this shoe, but as you can probably see, there's these little shiny bits. So that's where I'm tempted to put um, some paint. It's going to be pretty fiddly. Um, these might just end up completely black and, uh, and these neon paints will be used for something else, I'm sure, but I need to get myself some good masking tape so that I'm not ruining anything. But yeah, really impressed with how that how that paint's gone on first time. There's a couple of brush strokes in it where I've obviously just loaded the brush a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's let this dry and um, see what happens next time.